All right, welcome everyone. We are on episode three of John and Eric's epic adventures into Skyrim, and there is a wolf in our tent, and we still have Voice of the Sky. <laughs> Oh, okay. Bye. Bye, wolf. Okay, that's fine, right? Eric's still stuck in the ground, just to make this even funnier. And we we are here. Uh, we're just down the road from Kynes Grove. We're going to sleep the night to recover some of our strength here. We're going to take all of our stews and soups and everything like that. And then we are going to figure out what's happening at the Dragon Burial Site at Kynes Grove. That shouldn't take too long, so we're basically going to start off right with the Dragon Fight. At that point, we're going to make our way south. I think we're going to take out Fallstone Cave right here, just because we have two quests for it. So just to get those out of the way, and we'll turn those back into Riften. And from there, I think... That'll be... We, we might head back to the College of Winterhold, because we have a few other quests that we have to take on. We have the uh, Shalador's Insights to turn in. We need to get back to Jazargo, because we tried out his scrolls, right? We tested those out. So we'll have to figure out, you know, what what's up with all that. But... Oh my god, there's a mammoth across the street. All right, let's, let's just go to sleep and... Wake up feeling refreshed in the morning. We did some spell research to get to like 1 a.m. So hopefully that's all removed in the morning here. All right, nothing's trying to kill us. That's good. And the wolves didn't eat our horse. So how are we doing here? We're hungry, we're thirsty, but we're doing pretty good, right? We have 15 more hours of Voice of the Sky where animals don't attack us. I wish. Yeah, here, let's, <laughs> let's, Let's eat some stuff. Stew, drink, we'll, we'll do two water, right? Just to make sure we're not thirsty. Let's pack this up before this giant wanders over. All right, hold on, hold on. Drop those off in the tent too. And I think, yeah, we, we should be good now. Oh, the mammoth's over there too. All right, let's go. Eric, come this way. Please come this way. Oh, okay. Excellent. So we're doing pretty good. We could really use more large bones, but I don't know. Also, Killstrike, to answer your question, uh, when people subscribe to our Twitch channel that we have here, because we live stream all of these. Ooh, let's get... Oh, okay. All right. Weather just took a turn for the worst. So, oh, I think this woman's dead. It's just kind of a bug. Yeah, so that's too bad. So, oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a bad sign. That is definitely a bad sign. Now, Eric is still stuck in the ground, so we have... To, oh my god, oh, the shadow. The shadow. We're gonna leave our horse here. They're pretty terrified. Going in here should fix Eric because he's holding Dawnbreaker, right? So I would very much, is is he still bugged out? Is he still in the ground? All right. Eric, where's your Just feels right. weapon? Sure thing. Yeah, he has Dawnbreaker. Is there anything else we need? Is the may hope no, it's First what's I going on here, bro? Come on. No problem. How can I help? Eric, I need you in the fight, bro. If there's any way I can be of service, please let me know. What in the hell? What is that? Game's bugging out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna load. I swear, every time we start this game, every time we start this game, it disables save on travel. It's like it's intentionally trying to kill me. So we'll do a quick save. 
we had somebody redeem our new pirate hat. So there we go. I'd like to attack something just to make sure that Eric is like using his sword. So we're, we're very quickly, what we're gonna do is we're going to, are there no guards? All right, all right, we found a solution, ready? So we're gonna disable and then enable him. Hey, there it is. Okay, that literally took like five minutes of our stream just trying to get Eric to take out his stupid sword. Okay. Or stay there. Uh, this, this way, Eric. This way, please. Oh, we can't go that way, okay. I guess we have to go this way. Never mind, Eric, you were right. We go this way. <laughs> oh, that was so stressful. Like, we... We really didn't know what was wrong there for a while. Uh, do I like Dawnbreaker? This is our first episode using it. So, we're gonna see... Oh god. Oh god, he's shouting. What was that? How do we get up there? Is it... No, I think we have to go this way. Do we have to go this way? I don't know. I don't know how to get up there. Is there like a path or something? There, there was, so we fell off the path. Yeah, this is the... Oh, it's so spooky! This is the path right here. <laughs> Eric has no comment. Okay. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Ah, I already took out a guard. things we forgot to do in the last episode is use our dragon shouts. Totally got this. Totally got this. Okay, hold on. Oh! Oh god, he's looking at me! Okay. Okay, this is fine. Glad Eric's in the fight. Alright, what type of dragon are we looking at here? Hear my voice. Whoa, he's a freaking poison dragon? What in the hell? Oh my god. Okay, all right. What are we what are we looking at? Poisonous breath, right? Oh, he just bit us. This could be very bad. Uh resist poison. Oh my god. There we go. What happened to Eric? Oh, he's knocked down poisoned. Doesn't have any poison resist. Oh. That is really rough stuff. Do we have any? Or, or I took, and, and this is like I took a resist poison. 
right? That's it, it only reduced it by that much? It seems like it's doing a lot more. Your voice is strong. All right, do we have anything else? Is there any armor that we have for resist poison? No, we're wearing all of our armor too. Poison. Magic resist? Will magic resist work? We'll try it. Is it magic poison? I think we're doing a little bit better, right? We have plenty of buffs up. Get this over Oof. I'm poisoned. Magic resist helped, but how are we doing? Our beef stews are good. We only have two more minutes. Oh no, those are like extra things. And then four minutes, and then three minutes of that. All right. Think like we're to go. Oof. Yikes. Oh, he got us pretty good there. I think the uh, resist magic might have been a good idea. My lord, Alduin requires your We still have an emergency uh, stamina buff from our heavy armor. So we can use that to, to get a bunch more stamina when we need it. Come on. Well, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, that stuff's nasty. I don't know if this is actually reducing any of his armor, but... Oh, don't want to take a dragon bite right now. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Missed. Eric, Eric is still out of the battle. Because his healing aura doesn't seem to be healing past the poison. Ah! At least it isn't draining our stamina, so that's good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my goodness, yeah, we're gonna use a remarkable one right now. I mean, I can try going in here and. Your voice is strong, Laura. Come on, Eric. Get up, bro. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Oh no, I still hit him. Eric spends like every, literally every battle on the ground, I swear. We need to fix this pattern. It is not good. Oh, that's a lot of poison. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, hide in the trees. He dropped his contacts. <laughs> Maybe. All right, we're looking better. We'll do uh, a decent one. Should be good right now. 
Ooh, that could have been really bad. Ah! Alright, we're gonna use our, uh, let's see, where is it, where is it? It hasn't restored yet? Alright, I guess we're gonna use a stamina potion. Not a superlative one. We're out of stamina potions. Gotta be kidding me. Alright, we'll run in with a healing potion. We are really running out of healing potions, though. <sighs> Whoa! Come and face me, then. No, you come and face me! Yipe. Oh, that is a lot of damage. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no! Uh I don't know where he is. We need to get into the trees so we can hide. Your voice is no match for mine. Oh. I think he's grounded officially, but we are really low on stamina. Bash the breath if you can time it. No! What just happened? Were we stunned? Your voice is Draconic poison. <gasps> Paralyzing those unfortunate enough to make contact with it for 45 seconds? We're paralyzed for 45 seconds? Oh, no, 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 no. All right, all right. What's our health at? I think we're out of stamina. Oh. I do have a potion of cleansing. Here, we're gonna need something more remarkable to heal through that. How long does it last? 45 seconds. So if we can wait 30 seconds without it biting us. How about, um, yeah, it takes all my buffs off, right? Oh, we lost our um, poison resist. That would definitely F us up. So we'll take one of these and one of these. We're still out of, uh, stamina, too. <laughs> okay, just be patient. Deep breaths. No lucky. Your oh. voice is no match for mine. Oh, Eric's back up. Or somebody's back up. I All right, how are we at? Well, we at seven seconds. And then what else does it do? Uh, 11 points of damage to health and stamina per second. But I don't know if it's actually doing that. Is Eric gonna take down the dragon? What's our health at? We might have to use a superlative on this one. All right. Okay. I think, oh my God, this really sucks. No, 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 sleeping tree sap. Okay. And then one of these. Oh, don't poison us again. I think we're gonna have to use a cleansing potion on this. But I'm worried if we do that, it's going to take our health all the way down, right? So we're gonna have to use a superlative, that's it. We have to use a superlative. Because we'll remove our beef stew and everything else. 
Ah, it hurts. It hurts. Potion of cure poison? Oh my god, I... I completely forgot we had those. So I just wasted a superlative potion and all of that time. Oh my god. Sorry, Origins. We're so close. And I'm and I really needed more stamina potions. Your voice is no match for mine. All right, we just have to wait for our stamina to come back up. Come and face me then. Too many trees in the way. And that's all it took. Two more hits. And we wasted yet another superlative potion. So... I really was not expecting to fight. <laughs> Eric's like, pay me now. I really was not expecting to fight a poison dragon. I was prepared for everything else except a poison dragon. Ugh. Yeah. Great, we won. Yeah, well. <laughs> A little bit under-trained. So, uh, to be honest, this is my first time fighting dragons in Requiem. I'm gonna harvest some ingredients. You're gonna have to just kind of sit and watch. Nice. And we don't really need any of the bones or anything else like that, so... Okay. I owe you some answers, don't Dragonborn, I? Huh? Go ahead. Was it Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. It could have helped out a little bit. What do you know about the dragons coming back? Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Okay, what I'm do you want one with of me? The last members of the blades. A very long time ago, the blades were dragon slayers, and we served the dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer. For the last 200 years since the last dragonborn emperor, the blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. All right, what's our next the move then? The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, we know who the Thalmor are. Um, what makes you think the Thalmor bring Nothing them back? Nothing solid. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Mm. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Fair enough. Uh, so we need to find out what the Thalmor know about the dragons. Any ideas? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. Mm. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. Uh, so, how do we get in then? Mm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Let's take a crude healing potion here. Look at all, I freaking decimated all of my potions, right? We use a superlative potion on this when I could have just used an anti-poison. Ugh. And I don't know it just feels right somehow. if Eric... Of course. So Eric was knocked down because he lost all of his stamina. That's what ended up happening. We can give him a decent healing potion, but we're not giving him anything else. Let's get going then. 
Oh, and I don't think we need to get any uh, meat from the dragon, right? Surprisingly, I had enough inventory space to grab all of the, uh, the bones and stuff, but... All right, so I gave him a healing aura thinking that would be good enough, and it wasn't. What we'll do is we are gonna gonna switch over to something a little bit easier today. We're gonna take out Fallstone Cave because we have two quests for this, right? We have a, uh, a fetch quest for a stolen item and then just clearing out the cave, which is a mission for Riften that we got off the board. So seeing as this is kind of two quests in one, we're gonna take care of it. And is there anything we have to do in Windhelm? Nope, not really. So we'll transition to over here and uh, take it on. Who are these guys? How'd you end up here? Simon, here, we're gonna wait for Eric. The storm cloaks tearing everything apart and not do so. You there! You're the one they call Dragonborn? Uh, yeah, don't don't mind Eric's horse dying or, or disappearing in the background. Uh, yeah, I'm Dragonborn. Why? Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Okay. Time to die. Whoa. Oh boy, all right, hold on. Magic resist. Whoa. Ah. Oh. All right. Wanted to make sure 100% that we didn't get taken out by these guys. My god. Freaking assassin sent after us? First thing we'll do is we'll pray for this one, right? It looks like we can bless them. So what do they have? Cultist robes? Oh, we can sell those. Ooh, fancy. Dwarven dagger of binding. A couple of other things. Wow. Nice. Okay, I'll take that. Mr. Lorenz here. Hey, orders to occultus. Get off the road. Adept and higher destruction spells. Yeah. So luckily we took them out pretty quickly. But get off. Here, hold on. Get off the road. So let's see, what are what are these orders, right? What's what's going on here? Board the vessel, begin your search, kill the false dragonborn known as John Rorickson. Well, that was my old name. Before he reaches Solstheim. Return with word of your success, and Merak will be most pleased. Solstheim. Somebody sent an assassin after us. Goodness, well, we're definitely going to have to investigate that. One of the other things I'm going to remember to do is uh, change name, right? Change name. We have to change our name, because we are now John the Righteous. Oh, where's my horse? Uh, there she is. Helena the second, because Helena the first kind of got killed. But that's okay. Whoa. Looted a really nice potion. Yeah, let's take a... Take a look. Oh, oh my god, we got a superlative potion. I completely missed that. Nice. All right. Glad we managed to uh, do as much damage as we did that quickly. I, I completely missed that potion. That was great. Okay. Not feeling so bad about using that other one now. I mean, I could have used a freaking cure poison potion instead. I guess we're going to have to stock up on more of those cure poison ones. All right, so we're arriving, and I think we have found it. Yes, we have arrived. So I don't know what's in here. <laughs> oh, I love, I love the horse deaths. It's so ridiculous. We only have two minutes on our beef stew, and then, oh, we have uh, twenty-five minutes on that. So cave up ahead, trouble. Or maybe treasure. We'll wander in, because two minutes should be just enough time for us to figure out what's in here. 
I mean, for all for all we know, it's just like a tiny little cave, right? But if it's something actually difficult, then we're gonna trolls. Are trolls difficult? the hell was that? Wait, why is this troll attacking us? We have, uh, Voice of the Sky. Is it attacking me? Why is it doing that? Huh. It's kind of strange. Yeah, we still have it. You, uh, you lose it when you... God, it's so dark in here. When you attack an animal, so... We'll come back for their bones. Oh, wow. This seems pretty big. But theoretically, we should be able to run through here with little to no resistance. Uh, is it... That, that was it. We cleared <laughs> That was it. We had to kill a troll and clear it out. How deep is this cave? Yeah, there's there's a bunch of different things within the uh, the game that like you could just never discover, right? Ooh, okay, here we go. This way, I think. We got nice three amethysts, twenty lock picks, common soul gems. That was like an okay chest, right? Sorry, Gadba. Gold diamond ring, a flawless gold diamond ring. Oh, look, a bear, a damaged bear. Huh, and and a wolf. I guess they were fighting. If, like, if I die tripping on some bones or something, I am gonna be angry. <laughs> Necklaces you can make uh, with the bones. Yeah, I've never tried the uh, scrimshaw crafting. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn in those two quests that we completed by apparently killing one troll and then navigating the, the chaos that was that cave. So it looks like one of them is in the metery, and the other is My right collecting in the bounty. It's pretty simple. And then we'll once once we turn these in, we'll, we probably won't even sell any of our goods here. We'll just go back to White Run. All right, we uh, when we're in town, we wear our mask of Clavicus Vile. And for those who didn't see it yesterday, I uh, have a mod that makes it look extra fancy. You there! Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, we're all, almost, almost. Okay, fine, fine. You! Hey, don't look at me that way. Who are you to judge me? I have your gold diamond flawless ring. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Two hundred fifty gold. Safe travels. It's a good thing that we're not evil, or we would have just sold it, right? Thought about it. We did, in fact, think about it. But that's not our style. And then we'll go turn in that bounty. And we should be good. I don't think... I mean, we can stop in at the alchemy shop and pick up a few things, because it's always good to grab rare ingredients. I should have sold it. It's alright. We'll complete a quest. Hello. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. Yep, uh, cave is clear. Excellent. Clear. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Nice. <laughs> 200 gold. These people aren't exactly the most generous, huh? You're welcome in Riften. As long as what you can I do for you? Obey our laws. Good journey to you. So, 
what we'll do is we'll head back. I want to see if we can start the quest to become Thane, but I'm not expecting that to function properly because, like, for some reason we couldn't pick it up before. It was a bit strange. But we are going to head now to Whiterun and go craft some potions. That's going to be our main task for the rest of this episode. No, I won't. Your kindness will I never won't. be forgotten. Yes, here it is. Excellent. Where do you get Look, your skooma? I don't think I should say. I mean, they could kill me. <laughs> we can pay her 56 gold. No, we, John, John the Righteous has gotten sick of everyone's BS, so, uh, and who says I won't? Okay, okay, I'll tell you. I get my skooma from Sarthas Idrin. He has some sort of a setup over the Riften warehouse. You can't get inside, though. They've kept that place locked up tight since the war began. Hmm, who has a key? I overheard Boli say that only the Jarl carries the key to the warehouse. When I meet Sarthas there, he's usually waiting for me outside with his bodyguard. I could have left it behind. Hmm. You've been kind. I thank you. Sure, all right. Here, you know what we can start doing is not marking people for death. Excellent. So, never mind. Change of plans. This is going to be, uh, well, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll do this for the, the last of the episode. Just because, like, that other cave was, was so boring that we can do this for... What? Nah! We'll do this for the last of our episode. Hello. Speak. I wish to hear everything my subjects have to say. We have a skooma dealer. Yes, I'm afraid we're aware of Sarthus's presence in the warehouse. Unfortunately, we're certain he has informants within the city guard. Every time we've made a move to arrest him, he's escaped. Mm. However, if you take care of this discreetly, you might be able to surprise him without warning. Sure. Excellent. Here, this is the key to the warehouse. See if you can drop in on this dealer of poison and convince him to close down his operation permanently. Sounds like fun. Good journey to you. I'm just concerned about her safety. Sounds like a party. Don't be angry with me. We're gonna make short work of this. You will let it load. Come on! I think there might be one more person here. No one crosses me. Hey. What's that? Oh, Eric. Is that your best? Let's let's see him ah. use his sword, right? Oh. Ah. Nice. That went pretty well. All things considered. Hmm. Cheese. Now we're all set. All right. Anything cool in here? No. Pretty much. I, I'm pretty sure that everything in here would is marked as steel because it's all evidence right so what we got what we got Ooh, all the moon sugar all the skooma shipments ready is uh let's let's do a double check here is this a miscellaneous quest cover the source information right it is that so so we we kind of have to Steal that. Let's see. Crags Lane Cavern. All right. Guess we'll have to go take on Crags Lane Cavern. Anything else cool down here? Not really. Okay, what was that? No, we won't steal any of the evidence. We really want to. I don't think we've stolen a single item yet. I wish that you could like be swinging while you do it, right? So do it like a sprinting power attack as you use the what shout. What can I do for you? On mid my sleep? Uh, he's, nice he's dead. Nice to good news for a change. Did you recover anything else from the warehouse worth mentioning? Of course. I've discovered the source. And there's no time to lose. It won't take long for Sarthus's associates to learn of his death. The source of the poison must be destroyed once and for all. 
Otherwise, another dealer will simply take his place. Do this task for me, and you'll be well on your way to a title in Riften. Cool. Good. Let's do it. Report back to me when your task is complete. A good journey to you. All right, let's do it. Woo. All right. We're here. I missed. Yeah, that works too. I mean, I faked him out. See, it's a pretty good strategy. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't judge me, chat. Excellent, master. Yeah, we uh, that's that's a bit overkill, right? Could harvest some wood. Yeah, we will. I, I don't really like wood cutting, so. Where's Eric? Eric will meet us inside. I don't even think we have to give Eric a, uh, a healing aura because we're just gonna make quick work of this, right? We'll give Eric one though. Oh, we are not wearing our helmet. Okay, now we're good. You picked a bad Someone there. Party. Friggin' pickaxe. Hey, what? We get him. Can we get him on the, uh... He's level three? Oh, he missed. I think Eric's taking out all the, uh... Oh! Get out of here. That was pretty simple. Now let's loot the place. Cutting a man in half. Hey, watch it. That's pretty good. Anything else? Wolf Queen. Oh, this is a lock picking book. Apparently. Some skooma, some mudge moon sugar. It's good. Nice bed. Is there another wolf in here? Yeah, I think there's one in the cage in the back. There's two right here. I don't know if pit wolves give us large bones. I'm pretty sure they do not. Let's see if this wolf's going to attack us. I'm pretty sure that if you unlock this before you kill everyone, they'll attack the the other people, but Found Hey! Ow! Ow! That went pretty well. All things considered. <laughs> oh, there's one in here too. I didn't even fight back because it was like, yeah, we'll get get a little bit more blo uh, heavy armor XP, right? This, there we go. Get some block XP here. Thanks, Eric. What do you got? Oh, the the key. Ooh, expert. All right, we can we can try an expert lock, right? Let's do it. Hmm. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Was that? No. <gasps> hey, very nice. That's always the hardest part, is getting the... It's a little bit more. No, it was... I, it was probably right there. I probably had it. I like expert locks. Yes. What we got? Nice. Lock picking to 74. Healing cultist. Potion. Nice translation tome. Excellent. Nothing, you know, exceptional. A bunch of skooma. A little 
pile of septum, some random apples, bag of gold. What is that? Iron dish? La. Oh, nice. I'll take a couple of these. Get all of them? Yes. Alright. I feel like considering this was a skooma den, there was a significant lack of skooma in here. That did it, huh? It just feels right, sir. That was what the straw need? that broke the camel's back. Yeah, we'll give him the staffs. Let's oh, Eric, right, you're looking very fancy. Okay. Yeah. So we'll head back, we'll turn this in, oops. And we should automatically become Thane just by completing this quest because we've already helped a bunch of people. So that'll be good. We're back, victorious. What can I do for you? Oh my goodness, uh, operation has been stopped. Well done. Your continued efforts have been of great benefit to the people of Riften. Allow me to present you with this compensation for your selfless efforts. Ooh, okay. Is there anything I, anything else I can help with? Ah, there you are. I was wondering when you'd visit us again. I've been informed by my steward that you've made quite an impression in the Rift. Several of our citizens have expressed their admiration. Uh, regarding what, my lady? Much like Mio, you you've become champion of our hold, helping people with their difficulties and providing assistance for their needs. As the Jarl of Riften, I feel it's my duty to honor your selfless behavior by honoring you with the title Thane of Riften. I would be honored to accept. Yay! Before I can present you with the title, there's but a single requirement you must fulfill. A Thane of Riften is expected to maintain permanent residence oh. within the Oh, I house. have to purchase property My in order to get it. My such a home available to you for purchase. I think you'll find the accommodations to be most pleasing. When the house is yours, return to me, and I will present you the title. Uh, so, I Good see. This is like a, a property arbitrage scam here, right? They just want me to buy property. Welcome to Mist Vale Keep. But it is cheaper, right? It's like 14,000 gold cheaper, so I'll take it. There's a house available right now. Excellent. Let's do it. Here is the key to your new home. Thank you, That will be all. I'd like to decorate it. Glad to help you. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. Now, what would you like to purchase? Ooh, wow. Okay, uh, we'll start with the porch. Very well. I'll make the arrangement. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? We'll do the bedroom. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? And the kitchen. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Oh, the garden. Garden's probably in the back, right? Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Then I'm guessing... Are these... I don't know if these overlap or not. I'm a little bit worried that they do or don't, so we're definitely getting Very the alchemy well. lab. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? I'm gonna do a quick save. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. And I'm gonna make sure that none of these overlap, because some of them, like you, you switch them out, like the enchanting room and the alchemy room are are interchangeable. As Riften steward, I'm afraid. I'll be glad. And of course, now, what would you like to purchase? So we'll do the enchanting Very lab. Well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Uh, okay. Yes. Oh, oh, perfect. Perfect. That's perfect. So the enchanting lab is the children's room. See, that's what I was thinking. So, uh, no, I don't want to purchase any decorations. That's everything. Speak to me again if you decide to purchase some decorations for your home. They're just fabrications, and there's nothing down there save a few stray skeever. Yeah, yeah, I'm... Uh, I... I've purchased Honeyside. Then allow me to officially welcome you to Riften. You'll make a fine addition to our city. All that remains now is to bestow the title upon you. Thank you. I should be the one thanking you. You've solved more problems in the short time you've been here than anyone in my court has their entire careers. You've been a beacon of hope in these dark times for my people, and I will never forget it. Therefore, 
By my authority as Jarl, I pronounce you Thane of Riften, and award you all the benefits befitting your station. Congratulations. Yay! Oh, Blade of the Rift. Good You're journey. Welcome in Riften. Well, as make sure we keep the patrols out our night laws. and day, just to be certain. Uh, what's the Blade of the Rift? Let's take a look. Not bad, right? It looks like it's made out of steel, I think. It's nice, though. It's it's very nice. Thank you. Let's go check our, our new house. It just feels right, right so. No problem. How can I help? Let us see. We can hand Eric that, and this, and a couple of these. Oh my god, these weigh five each. Ugh. Lead on. New house, new house, new house. We're gonna double check to see if we can rent it out. That'd be very nice. Ooh. Who are you? The Jarl has appointed me to be your house. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It's an honor to serve you. Excellent. Good luck out there. Eric's stuck in the uh, the doorway, so that's a good sign, right? I guess he likes it. Here's our alchemy room. Be for virtue. We could harvest stuff off the walls if we really wanted. This actually is a really nice place to live. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? It is Eric. This place. Wow. Oh, okay. So our bedroom's in the basement, huh? That's interesting. Interesting choice. <clears throat> oh, and here's the smithing area. Nice. Yeah, it is pretty nice, but we're not going to live here. Where's the, uh, the back door, right? Is it... Yeah, I think this is it. I think this is the back patio. It's righteous. Fitting for John the Righteous, right? Ooh, okay. So yeah, we get this nice little back garden area. This is really nice. And look, you... Oh my goodness, so you can ride up from outside to get to the house. That is incredible. That really is amazing. Um, oh, where'd they go? Uh, You're someone who can get things done. Do we talk to I you? Like I'd like to rent out my house. Well. I'll make the arrangements. So, is this what it's come to? You'd have your own flesh and can I? Hang. I don't know how to collect my rent, but if that's of course. what it will take, then so be. It. Rent due in You're six days. As long as we used to be in several. They are laws. Always flare. Seven days. You have any idea how long that is? Oh, it's raining. All right. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna end. The episode right here we uh will continue to play a little bit more in game and do some potion crafting but for youtube that will be the end of our episode so we'll end here in the rain we are now thane of the rift very cool we own property we're renting out the property we can collect our rent in seven days so that is pretty epic and i will see you in the next episode where we'll have a lot more potions ready for whatever we're going to be working on. So I will see you then.